For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. Speak these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no one despise you. So often, preachers, Sunday school teachers, evangelists, we preach our hearts out to win people to Jesus, but we never give them the full picture. For the full picture is, you don't take a bath to go take a shower. So often, we, we don't get it right the first time and we just kind of give up. But here's the thing that I want you to see. He is coming. We don't know the day, the time, or the hour. But he has given us the ability to come to him to be redeemed so that we might live righteously, that we might live godly in this world today. So many people give me this. Oh, I'm just human. It sort of reminds me of the song, I'm only human. Well, let me tell you, if you're not, then this message isn't for you. The message is that we can live in this world righteously. But so often what we end up doing is we end up getting the cart before the horse. We don't get it right because we're impatient. Sit back. Relax. As a dear friend of mine said to me this morning, God's got this. Don't worry about you handling it. Let God handle it. He is taking care of everything. You see, Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Really? Rest? Right. The rest that is the rest that gives us the opportunity to realize it's out of our control. It's sort of like when you give somebody a $5 bill. You can tell them, go, go, go spend it this way, go spend it that way. But when you release it, you give it. And you see, that's what God did with us when he gave us salvation through Emmanuel on the cross of Calvary, he said, here it is. I give it to you. How are you going to use it? No different than a young 16-year-old with a car. That's real evident to me today because our granddaughter Olivia will be driving in less than a month by herself. But the great thing about it is she's had training, instruction, and now we all have to trust what we gave her. God trusts us with the gift of salvation. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to use it and he wants us to give it to other people. You see, so often we try to get things right first of all and then get straightened out with God. I don't know a kid that gets their driver's license that doesn't have trepidation and fear and worry and the parents do the same. But here, I want you to understand something. We have to learn. And we learn by walking in those footsteps that are so far beyond us. He said, follow me. He didn't say lead me. He said, follow me. 
He said, come unto me. You see, the good shepherd leads his sheep. The good shepherd doesn't drive them. He leads them. He leadeth me. Oh, blessed thought. That's what God wants to do. Let's follow him today, shall we?